Thanks for the heads up, Brian. April marks another month packed with cultural and arts events you and the family can experience in Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. Our next live guest is here to give us those highlights. I'd like to welcome Shannon Stokes joining us live now. She is the Director of Artists and Partner Services with the Arts Council of Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. Shannon, great to see you again. It's great to see you too. Um, we are packed this month with arts and culture events, and I just have a few to share with you today. Thank you. Uh, so our first event uh, we have to share is the 4 on 4th, which is National Poetry Month with bookmarks. Um, that's Wednesday, April 20th at 7 p.m. April is National Poetry Month, and Bookmarks 4 on 4th is a free event where patrons get a, the chance to meet local authors and hear about their books. The authors participating in this event are Sam Barbary, Nadine Hayes, Paul Jones, Kimberly Ovilera Lainez, and Joyce Compton Brown. Uh, Four on Fourth is a monthly event co hosted with the Winston Salem Writers. This event is free and open to the public, and uh, you can find more information on bookmarksnc.org. Awesome. Thank you, Shannon. What's next for us? So we are kicking off the 2022 River Run International Film Festival, April 21st through the 30th. And the River Run International Film Festival is a nonprofit cultural organization in Winston-Salem dedicated to the role of cinema as a conduit of powerful ideas and diverse viewpoints. Their mission is to foster a greater appreciation of cinema and a deeper understanding of the many people, cultures, perspectives of our world through regular interaction with great films and filmmakers. This year's festival has over seven, seven, 170 regular interactions um, in films, including animated shorts, narratives, documentaries, and more. Uh, films are going to be screened at different locations across Winston-Salem and the Triad, including Reynolds Place Theater and Haynes Ranch Theater on Arts Council campus in downtown Winston-Salem. Uh, tickets start at $12 for adults and $10 for students, and more information can be found on riverrunfilm.com. I've heard great things about that festival. It's pretty popular around our area, is that right? That is correct. And um, for the last couple of years, it's been uh, hybrid due to yeah. the pandemic. And so this year, they're gonna be excited. This is a big deal this year, yes. <laughs> Yes, and so uh, the next event we have is Spring Dance with uh, University of North Carolina School of the Arts. Um, that is April 21st to the 24th. Uh, this is a dance recital that uh, is a cross-pollination of classical ballet and contemporary dance. Uh, the, the varied program of Spring Dance will include five pieces highlighted by a brand new reimagining of the set Seven Deadly Sins by guest choreographer Gina Patterson. Uh, the program also features UNCSA alumni and two UNCSA faculty members. Tickets are $20 uh, for regular admission and then $15 for students. And then more information can be found on their website. That sounds like a really nice event. And all of these are family friendly. I mean, there's no, it feels like there's no age kind of parameter for events that you guys put on just to help kind of expose the arts to, to little ones too. Absolutely. Um, there is always something going on and uh, a variety of events for all family. So um, if you are interested in learning about all the events in our community, you can visit our website at IntoTheArts.org. Good to mention, Shannon. We want to show folks that website once again. Thank you for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, you can find more information to stay on top of the local arts and events happenings coming up this month. Just visit IntoTheArts.org.